Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. Um, I think it's Wednesday, right? The days are running together um, and I am so excited because today we have a special treat. An amazing woman who founded a company that I'm obsessed with. Um, I'm not wearing an ounce of makeup right now because we are about to get really uh, a treat. You guys know how much I love my lymphatic drainage massages and uh, I'm really looking forward to what we are about to do today with my friend and founder of The Face Gym. So we're gonna give her a second to join us and she will go live with us. Stand by. So while you guys are waiting, um, I would love if you can join us um, to grab, oh, there we go. You're gonna need for this, um, which really isn't much. I mean, we all are, isolated and uh you know whatever you have access to right now hi inga hi i was just saying uh whatever anyone has access to for what we're about to do you don't need anything fancy but we have some tools here um from the face gym and i'm really excited because you're going to teach us some tricks of how to kind of pamper ourselves and uh do a lymphatic drainage massage which is something that I am obsessed with, and Face Gym is heaven on earth, truly. Um, oh, thank you. And first, I want to say hi to everybody. We miss you. I don't know if they're all in New York, but we miss you guys. I hope you're staying really well and safe. And I think exactly like you said, more than ever, today is the day that you have to try and find time to create ritual for yourself. Yes. Whether it's that quick run you did this morning, or whether it's that glass of wine in the bath, or it's a lymphatic drainage, just five minutes for yourself, you time, there's never been a better moment. And whether it's, you know, during COVID or post COVID, it's always a good practice to actually embed and take with you. I agree. Couldn't agree more. And just to introduce everyone who uh, doesn't know, this is Inga Theron, the founder and creative director of Face Gym. So... I have actually, before we even get started, and get, how, what inspired you to start Face Gym and how would you describe it to those who haven't had uh, the chance to go yet? So I've been a beauty editor for the Financial Times for, I think it's going on 13 years now. And I've tried everything. There was a moment that I was super holistic. Then there was a moment I did every injectable under the sun. I was doing every single cardio workout and hybrid Research. workout. Research. Research. And I realized about seven years ago that my body was in great shape. I was doing Pilates and yoga and Soul Cycle Barry's boot camp, and my skin was so super toned and tight from all of this uh, body work I was doing. But on the flip side, on my face, I actually my my skin was getting a bit droopier, and I was like, "Crikey, I need a, I need a face gym. I really yeah, need a like gym a, for your I, face. I need a gym for my face." And so, really, all, what we do is we focus on the the muscles of the face. I like to call it the scaffolding. It keeps it all together. You know, for years the beauty industry has just focused on all the lotions and potions you put on the skin, but actually, the secret really has to start with working from the inside out, working on those muscles, toning them, just like. Like you do in the gym with your body you know we call them the forgotten 40 muscles because nobody even knows a single muscle in their face and so it's been a great privilege to actually bring this to life through face gym we have studios in the uk usa new york los angeles um it's and amazing. it's great it really really works oh my gosh i couldn't agree more i've gone so what even just recently when it was fashion week uh in new york any chance I get between shoots or runway shows when my face is feeling puffy from traveling uh, back when we used to do such things um, or, or if I eat something really salty and you know that feeling when your face is feeling puffy, my favorite thing to do is to go to the face gym and what you guys do and the techniques that you're going to teach some of us here today um, are, are you use your, it's all about your hands. It's all about pressure. It's all about, like you said, those muscles that are in your face that sometimes are forgotten. And I think these lymphatic drainage techniques are, you can do it anywhere. You can do it on yourself and can really make a difference in kind of just draining whether it's puffiness from stress or diet or alcohol, um, which I Absolutely. think all of us have probably all of the above. 
Right. Absolutely. Now. And it's really good for your immune system. That's what the lymphatic system does. Well, listen, should I teach you a yes. couple of moves? Without further ado, let's get into it. So for anyone who's going to play with us today, make sure your hands are nice and clean. Yes. This is something to do at home, in your bathroom. Um, we're going to use our face ball. I actually really like to um, start here at the bottom. They call them the supra, the clavicular um, uh, lymph nodes. And if you don't have a ball, don't worry. Take your hands and just really lightly, lightly pulse. It's this area just between the collarbone and the neck area. And now remember, with the lymphatic system, it's very, very light touch. It's actually the unsung hero of facial massage because... A lot of people want that really tight, deep sculpting, but this guy, mm. this lymphatic, he can actually change your face in a, in, a, in a session. In 10 minutes, you can actually deep puff. So what we're doing here is just stimulating the lower part of the lymph node. For any of you who think puffy eyes get drained from here, uh -uh. these are like the daddies really? here. If you don't open up down here, it just won't flow through. So you have to think about opening here and then you, we can basically work to the top. So now that we've done that, um, let's start with- I love the science of that. The fact that it's so, this kind of internal system, the lymphatic drainage, the, and your lymph nodes play such an important role in your overall health and your immunity and, and your immune system. And it, so it's really important to, to give it some love. Absolutely. It's where you, it's how you detoxify too, and especially during this time. So let's just start here. We're just waking up the lymphatic system. We're saying good morning or, you know, good evening yeah, in, in, London. in London. <laughs> where are you um, And so basically then move to the back. Now remember, it's very, very light. Try and make little J's, little J's. And so you do three times just around your ears, waking this guy up, go to the middle neck, very, very light. If you go too strong, you're going to crush it and you're going to be doing something else. So just keep working down. And then we get back to those big daddies over here, the Supras. And just very, very light. So we don't have that much time today, but we'll do it one more time. And is this something that you can do every day or? Every day. Absolutely. Again, as long as you just know just to keep it really, really, really light. If you've eaten salt today or you're eating, you know, like a sushi or soy sauce or alcohol or coffee, mm. we tend to keep so much um, of these toxins in our face. And that's that thing that makes us feel so puffy. So let's it's, go down. So interesting how quickly, I mean, I know my body reacts like yesterday uh, with Cinco de Mayo. So I had a margarita or two or three <laughs> and i'm feeling very puffy today oh my god i had, i was gonna have just one glass of wine last night at like wine o'clock this is actually my wine o'clock this, this is, is your wine o'clock you might take a break from your wine o'clock to teach us these techniques exactly and but don't so worry, what are we doing now what is seven this? so now now we're going to start draining here around the jaw so i tend to break out quite a lot around here so it's really yeah. good if you can actually very, very lightly pulse yet, just don't use your thumb and your pinky mm. and just keep going. It may feel like you're not doing a lot, but this is what it's all about. Lymphatic mm. is a slow system and it's just this pulsing, this kind of J moment. Then hold again here, take your two little fingers and it's like sweeping. Imagine you were sweeping the toxins and then this here, is the bin and then it's going to float down and come here and actually leave your body so just float it gently 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 it's so fascinating because i also this area has been where oh. i've had always a hard time with acne and it really it's amazing it's the things that i found that work the best for me are internal kind of changes so watching if there's something I eat that makes me react and kind of break out here or, you know, taking time to do lymphatic drainage really makes a difference. So hundred percent, same thing with me. I've always suffered with acne. I'm 44 and I still suffer with, uh, with breakouts on a monthly basis. So this is vital. So if you do have a gua sha, so of course you would do the same thing on the other side. Um, so do, if we want just to do for that. anyone out there who um, has, uh, how do you pronounce it? I always feel like I'm saying it wrong. Gua sha. Gua sha. Gua sha. For those of you who have It's a Chinese these, beauty tool. 
And if, you, if you've seen them, we're going to show you how you use them and why they're a great tool to have. Exactly. So continuing on some of your lymph um, drainage, uh, again, you can basically also very lightly. So using move, the heart piece of it. Using the heart piece and keep it quite flat. There's, you know, that's not going to give you as much drain. Try and keep it flat and push out. So you're trying to bring all those toxins to the ear and then, you know, sweep it out. So you would do potentially three of these and then you'd basically sweep it down. And then I like going up the face. So again, what's really good about this is it sort of starts your skull pitting in the evening as well, but it gives you this ability to just help drain the middle face where I can also be really, really puffy. Can, for, for, just to interrupt real quick for anyone who's watching, yes, we look crazy, but if you try this, trust me, you'll understand. <laughs> I, you can like hear the, I hear the like crackling of things. I don't know oh, we what's haven't happening, even, but it feels good. We haven't even got started. Wait till we actually start doing the crazy <laughs> face exercises. Then we really look crazy, but it doesn't matter because we're going to reap the benefits. Yes. So, and this is for you guys that we're doing this. So you can try this at home. You can see exactly. and come back because this is a great technique that you, uh, I think will love. And, you can and then get the yourself up to the top. And uh, this is where we all suffer, right? So this is basically mm. those bags under the eyes. So just keep your pressure really, really, really soft, Kali, because this is where, A, you don't want to be dragging the skin. Um, mm. When you're old like me, you actually use a little bit of like face oil too, just because it's, it can get a little bit crepey. Keep it super, super light. Don't forget to take it to the hairline. Your All the way to the hairline. Lymph, okay, so yes. you really want to follow the lines of your face and kind of Yes, follow your lymph your doesn't just on. end here. That's, that would be sculpting. So okay. just take it down and then bring it back down. And then I also just like to sort of come down and, you know, okay. you can use any one of these different sides and just really help with that draining. I also really like to cradle. Love this one the back and you know you can go a little tiny bit harder here especially yeah. if you've got a bit of a knot as well so it's amazing that it you know also that one thing i love about the face gym is that it's a very effective and even short kind of treatment and you guys don't use fancy crazy expensive look to tools or lasers or scary things like you use these techniques that really can be effective and really focus on kind of um the, the health of your muscles and your lymphatic system. A hundred percent. And again, what I think is it's not about those big expensive tools when you're at home. If you've got access to it, great. But if you don't, you, these, you know, these muscle um, manipulation techniques and these really, really simple like um, age old massage techniques. Again, this is why we finish here now. Super feather, feather light. You want to remember, you want to start with the supras and you want to end with the supras too. Mm. So basically it feels like you're doing very little, but I promise you, if you wake up tomorrow morning or with the puffy eyes, whether it's hay fever or all the toxins that we're taking right now, a little bit more, um, it'll really be helpful. Great. There you go. Very simple. Amazing. Five minutes incorporate in the morning or the evening. Job well, done. I already feel, don't you guys feel that? Anyone who's at home doing this with us, you'll understand. It's, it's just for me, and this is the biggest difference. When I walk out of the face gym, I see an extreme difference in kind of this area, that cheekbone yeah. area where, you know, my, I, I kind of get puffy around this area and it just, it just drains it. And it's, I think, more important now than ever to kind of take time and give yourself a little bit of extra pampering. Um, thank you, Inga, for these amazing tips and tricks. Um, is there, uh, we have actually some questions, I think. Yes, too. Yeah, whatever, I mean, if you guys want to know about how to get rid of a double chin, I've got something for that. We oh, can work yes, on the please. jaws, we can work on the smile lines, you tell me whatever you what, want. With a few minutes left, um, could you actually, because I think that's one thing, all of us are on our phones, and on our computers and this double chin, whether you, it actually is one or just feels like one, what can we do for it? This okay, little... Well, there's a couple of other things. I get it too. So I'm actually pretty shocked at how bad that's got because we're always like this. So what I tend to do is really work on this platysma. This is this really big guy over here, this really strong neck muscle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jut out our jaw 
We're going to curl our top lip over our, t our teeth. And that's also, by the way, going to iron out those little fine lines, mm. which Carly doesn't even know about no, yet. No, I, I do. I know about them, sadly. <laughs> and then we're going to basically make a sound, oh, oh, oh. And we're going to tilt our head backwards and forwards. I'll demonstrate. Okay. So again, and what is this doing? This is getting rid of our double chin. Yes, it's actually okay. working on this muscle. I'm going to give you two mm. exercises really quick. Okay. So... Actually, keep your hands here so you can actually feel this muscle because you've never probably thought about that muscle before. Wrap your teeth. <laughs> and this is where they all laugh. Right now, huh? But we'll have the last laugh. <laughs> we should have had a glass of wine before this. <laughs> <laughs> so like this, so, so you want to stretch the muscle, is that correct? That's it. You're actually stretching the muscle and it, you're beginning to work on the depressors mm. here. So just okay. remember to really jut out, curl down, and then open your mouth. Oh, 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 oh. And you're really oh, stretching oh, oh, oh. down here. Um, you know, we've got lots of tutorials. I can, I can send this on to your, you On well. your YouTube, you have great resources. Anyone who wants to do more of this in more depth, go to Face Gym's YouTube. They've got great and, stuff. And the last one I'll quickly teach you. Yes is sort of, this is our cheek burpee. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to breathe. Put your palm of your hand here in between your muscle and the jaw. It's actually really good for TMJ. A lot of us mm -hmm. who use our phones all the time, we tend to get a lot of stress in our jaw, which is what we do at Face Gym too. We actually really help to iron that out. So there we go. Breathe in and breathe out. One side. Can you feel that resistance so, training? So you're really stretching that muscle, is that correct? Yeah, you're using this Masita Bacchinata muscle to actually really um, tone and tighten. You'll actually feel it tomorrow if you oh. do 25 of these on either side. It takes practice. <laughs> There's another one all enjoying this. Only, with, <laughs> only with clean hands. Yes. Oh, yes. This... So this is a, will you explain the, because this is something that I've been fascinated by, is the techniques with clean hands that kind of massaging those muscles inside your mouth can actually be really impactful. Oh, so impactful. I mean, so these are, this is, so when you get a little bit older, you, massage is great, but as you get a little bit older, you need to do some resistance training to keep these muscles in the face toned. And so by actually doing some exercises where you can actually use the muscles to actually pull them in. We call them cheek crunches. Um, mm -hmm. You actually feel that the next day and you can see how it sculpts not just your jaw, um, but your cheeks too. So you just take your index fingers, put them inside your mouth, clean index fingers and... Mm. Um, the other thing, of course, you can do again, you know, with gloves or with clean fingers, if you want to go into your mm -hmm. mouth, is basically, you know, this you can start massaging around your arm. Okay, I'm going for it. So, so this one you use your index finger and your thumb. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh wow. And then you can actually start getting in there. <laughs> and really, and this is, what is this doing? Just kind of massaging the muscles. Massaging. And massaging where you never if you can imagine when was the last time you ever touched inside mm. your mouth and can you feel that tension that you've even got yeah around there and then the lower cheek is out and then yeah you can even i you know <laughs> i don't know about anybody else i mean forget it we look crazy i don't even care but i <laughs> hold so much tension in my mouth like i can see myself especially now that we're on zoom calls all day i can like see myself pursing my lips and i like hold those muscles and then, and then yeah. you start putting lines. It's true. So hundred percent. So you can actually just go in and just give yourself this. a really nice. And then if you suffer from TMJ around here, you can will actually you, will like, you tell us what TMJ is. Yeah. It's just like a tense muscle um, syndrome mm -hmm. that you basically get here. It's when we, when we lock our jaws and we're angry and we're looking at our phones the whole time. Yeah. And we're like, mm. If you go like that tense, can you feel? Oh, yeah. And literally over the last few years, we know we see thousands of people and we've just seen an increase in tension in, the, in, in this jaw area and actually knots, which we go in both you know, on the surface and we sort of iron out. But if you do have some pain here, then you can just put your finger in 
and mm-hmm. actually, you know, give yourself this kind of a little bit of okay. Wow, it's it's really amazing. I hold so much tension in my jaw as well. I don't know about anyone else. I find I only recently found out that I grind my teeth when I sleep, yeah, which is really really bad, yeah. obviously. But um, this is a great way to to kind of target those muscles. Okay, so. Just when to recap we, here, anyone who um, is going to try this later, these are, these are kind of a routine that you can do. Um, and again, you can head to Inga's YouTube and get more in-depth tutorials. But I'm just really glad that you were able to enlighten us for a few minutes today. And I really just hope everyone that you're staying healthy and safe and that you're taking time to do things for you and to take care of your mental and physical well-being because that is vital now more than ever. So thank 100%. you for oh, all Oh, it was so doing. nice to see you. So and nice I can't wait to, to, and you know what you can do now? We've got the personal training online. So mm. if over the next couple of weeks, you feel like you just want to book with one of the girls, just, you know, it's, uh, facial and personal training, you can actually do it with all your best girlfriends. Do it by yourself. Call you about that. So yeah, or, you know, our masterclass free on a Monday for anybody who wants to learn more. Uh, 6 p.m. on a Monday, we're going to teach you whatever you want. Just ask us and we'll help you. And you don't need tools. You just need your hands and some time for you. I love that. I w- will call you about that. Thank you, okay. everyone. I, I Lots hope of you love. tune in for that. Seems- Love you and uh, have an awesome day, everyone. And enjoy that glass of wine. Bye. Coming. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.